This character creator came from the moon. This CCC will also count as a CCC for Destiny 1, since from what I can tell, the character creator in Destiny 2 is identical in just about every way, so yeah. When you begin, you have three classes to choose from, the Titan, the Hunter, and the Warlock. Each one sort of fitting the typical RPG archetype of Warrior, Rogue, Mage. Their differences aren't really stat-wise, but more like ability-wise, where the Titan can put down a sort of wall, the Hunter has a sort of dodge roll, and the Warlock has a energy field that can either heal allies or buff them with extra damage. Otherwise, they all sort of perform very, very similarly as far as capabilities in general FPS combat goes. Every class can use every weapon uh, regardless of the weapon type and the class that's using it, aside from a few unique ones like some of the swords. Once you pick a class, you are then taken to the actual character editor where you can pick from three different races, all cosmetic with no bearing on gameplay whatsoever. We've got your typical humans, we've got your Awoken, which are kind of like this game's, I guess, elves? Question mark? They're like aliens. And the Exo, which are robots. Then we have some face options, which includes the overall face shape, skin color, mouth color, and eye color. And what options you have for these will depend on your race. The Exos, for example, don't necessarily have lips colors per se, but more of a color for the glow uh, behind whatever their mouth apparatus is. We then have hair after that, which again, the available selection and colors of which are unique to each race. For the Exos, they have what's called head features, which are sort of like attachments and antennae and stuff because, well, they're robots. And lastly, there are the marking sections, which are basically tattoos and facial markings, once again, options of which are unique depending on which race you pick. Once you're done here, it'll throw you right into the game where any further customization of your character comes from the gear you earn as you play since it is a looter shooter. Not a lot to cover for this one, huh? Let's look at what it does bad. The first thing that immediately comes to mind about Destiny 2's character creators is that there's not a lot of things you can adjust. This is incredibly bare bones. There's no face adjustment options, no body options, no morphing or changing of any features. I was so hesitant for a long time to critique this character creator because well, I, what is there to critique? There's like nothing here. What you see is basically what you get. And what you get is very limited in my opinion. Seven faces in total for each race. Now that's 21 faces in total if you count all of them, sure, but without any sort of additional adjustment options, you're gonna be hard pressed to make the perfect face if there are any subtle characteristics you don't like. Because as I said, there are no additional adjustment options. And this goes for basically everything else. The selection is pretty modest as to how many options you have across the board. There's a running joke that nobody in Destiny has good hair because there are so few hairstyles, which I gotta say, a little subjective nitpick, the designs of the hairstyles you're given I'm not a personal big fan of. There's like two that I like for each race, and even those I kind of just tolerate. Or at least I think I like them because I can't tell since there's no camera options. Not even limited camera options, none. I can't zoom in or out, I can't, I can't rotate my character to see what their hair looks like from the back or their face from the side. I remember way back in Destiny 1, I, I was about a few hours in when I realized the back of my guardian looked really silly because of their hairstyle, but there's no way to change it, so I had to make a new character or look up a video to see what all their hairstyles look like from different angles since the creator doesn't let you see. It's really frustrating. That may not seem like a lot of things to complain about, but that in and of itself is one of my many complaints, is that there is not that much to this creator. It's very simple, and as I said, very bare bones. It barely even feels like a character creator, since most of your player expression comes from your gear as you play through the game. But then, it's also gotta do some things right. Let's look at the good. First and foremost, this character looks fantastic. The graphical fidelity and art style of this thing is gorgeous. 
This is likely the reason why they give you such limited options in the first place is because quality over quantity. Now the designs of the faces and the hair themselves are subjective in their quality, you know, how good you think these faces look, stylistically anyways, but I mean on a technical level and as far as generally good looking characters go, these look crazy good. The hair looks nice, the face looks nice, the movement and expressions on their face looks nice, and that goes for all three races as well. They all look really high quality, high fidelity. These are some nice high poly models, or at least just very well nicely textured, and the art style's nice. It just all looks nice. And I think that's another great thing this character creator does well, is making sure that each race gets about equal attention in their quality and options. They all have just as many options as one another. So it never quite feels like one gets stumped in how many things you can choose because, well, they all have the exact same quantity of things. That sounds like a low bar, but hey, I want to give them some credit, and that's a good thing considering how many character creators with multiple races kind of give a few races the short end of the stick when it comes to customizing. It's nice to see that all of them have equal opportunity. But not only do the faces look good, but the UI looks good as well and feels good to use. This UI is clean as hell, not just visually, but functionally as well. The game's got this minimalist design going for everything that's just super easy on the eyes. Everything is straightforward. The icons and the colors are really nice and clear. And that plays right into the latter. The nice visual design of this menu lends to it being super user-friendly. The icons are obvious as to what they pertain to, as are the colors, and the entire thing works off selectable preview, i.e. the option only ever appears on your character after you pick them, as opposed to showing up just from hovering over the option. I honestly wish every character creator was as simple and clean as this one. Conclusion, it's one of the slickest and nicest looking character creators out there, but is held back immensely by a lack of options or any additional adjustments whatsoever. Super bare bones, albeit very pretty and polished. This has been Character Creator Critique, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.